What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today, I'm excited to bring you my Instagram post volume six. So what I'm doing in these particular videos is just going through my feed for those that I follow that maybe have posted a picture of either the tool or an entire pocket dump carry or pocket check of what they had in their pockets for that day. And then if I like it, I like the composition, the tool or all of the above. I'm basically sharing it and reviewing it on the channel just to kind of, again, live vicariously through those that are posting of the tools or just to show my admiration of their skill set and being able to post a really nice composition. So just to give an example of what the heck I'm talking about, here is just a picture of a, sh um, here is a post of a shot that I shared earlier in the week. Got the Nkosi out here with my Slim wallet from Redeem Creation. I have my Hitch and Tipper organizer with my Lion Steel Best Man 2, Olight i5T EOS, Fisher Space Pen, and my very favorite Seiko Automatic 5. So as you can see here, just a low moody shot, trying to get a little bit of shadow, but still emphasize the gear well enough to where it does shine through. So if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like for me, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you get alert when all videos post and then you can choose which one you like. So make sure that notification bell is selected to all. And of course, follow me over on Instagram if your feed runs like this. When someone asks or when someone subscribes and follows along, I usually check their feed out and see if they post similar things and I will follow back. And that's how you end up on this volume. Again, this is the seventh volume. I did skip last week, um, which would have been after volume five. So volume six and volume seven are gonna be lagging behind just a little bit. I wanted to kind of catch up on the other videos. I had so many uh, unboxing reviews, mods, and things that I needed to get through. I just needed the extra day to post one of those videos to get caught up a little bit. Um, hard to believe I get behind, but it's just the pace of posting a video every day and doing all the edits behind the scene does take a lot of time. And I'm not trying to bog this video down, so let's go ahead and move forward. First up is going to be Watt underscore gear. I think it's supposed to be what gear? He has a very nice post here where he has the Ace, I'm um, sorry, the Giant Mouse Ace Farley. This is their newest slip joint. As you see here, it has a nice little nail nick. He has the Micarta variant. It looks like the deployment's done via the nail nick there. A nice little cutout and great access to it, it looks like. Very nice looking little EDC. And it looks like he's carrying it in this Viper Aid. I'm guessing that's how you say it, organizer. It looks like it's a very premium and well done organizer for the pocket. Got a little cadet there done in a very nice pale green color. I like that a lot. Not sure how he's going to pull that out of the pocket there, though. It looks like it would swallow it and maybe need a lanyard, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what pin that is. It looks like it's a type of brass that's faded because it has a also, um, he also has a brass carabiner with a little, it looks like a pill holder. I'm not quite sure what that is, but all of the gear fascinated me. I don't know a whole lot about the Farley from Giant Mouse, but it looks really nice. It looks very well done. I like the wire pick wire pocket clip and their micarta always looks good in the pictures. So. I really like this one a lot, and he has a lot of stuff on his feed. He just picked this one up recently at the time that I'm doing the filming of this because a couple of posts back, you can see him doing his unboxing, which I think is a cool way to also share with the Instagram crowd. Might have to think about incorporating that <laughs> on my end as well. But if you enjoyed this shot, go ahead and give what underscore gear a follow out over on Instagram. Next up is going to be the Grim Pocket. The Grim Pocket did a very nice composition shot and he even talks about it in this post where he got his inspiration to do this shot. I like the natural lighting by the window. I like the candlelight and all of the natural wood background coffee and all of that in there. He has his bench made proper and he has his pina and he's asking which one to carry. I say carry both, my man. He looks like he has a, um, a sheath there for the proper. It looks like it's contoured more for that. I like that he has, again, I don't know if that's the cadet. I'm not sure which Swiss Army knife is in there, but I always love those as a companion carry because they're so versatile. 
He has some pocket trash down there. He's got some coins with a coin carrier. And then he's topped it all off with his watch. So really nice shot, very moody. I like the lighting. You're able to see all of the details on the gear very well. Um, it is a little busy. I probably would take maybe one or two things out of this just to clean it up some, or maybe zoom them in a little bit and take the other stuff out of focus. But honestly, I'm not trying to say I could do it better. Just what I would try different because I'm always pushing myself to get a little better. But this is a sweet shot with some really nice gear like this a lot. If you enjoyed this, give the Grim Pocket a follow over on Instagram. His feed is always really good and has very nice gear. like to see him pop up in my feed all the time. Next up is going to be SSGT1775, and I'm assuming that's Sergeant1775, but I am not 100% sure. I really liked this shot because this actually has some newer gear that has come out for 2022. On the right, you'll see he has the Kershaw Federalist, which is their double detent ball slip joint. So I don't know if the slip joint name really appropriates what this is, but it basically has two detent balls that help lock it and help unlock it. Well, I guess it wouldn't really help unlock it, but keeps it locked in place, whether it's in the open or closed position. Probably a better description of what's going on with that one. That is like the size of my best man too. I love that fact that it's a USA made knife and it looks like it's pretty well done. It has a captive pivot so it only spins on one side which is always nice for disassembly for cleaning. And um, like I said, it looks really nice. He has it here with his case. He's got a Saima watch. I'm not familiar with the brand or if I said that correctly. And then his composition, a simple low light composition focused on the gear, small cup of coffee in the background. I just like this a lot. I like this because it's a very minimalist carry. It's very clean, not busy at all. Really good shot too. So if you like this, go ahead and give SSGT1775 a follow over on Instagram great shot and his feed is always good all right next up is going to be hb reviews 29 out on instagram he has his ryuk here on the left it looks like it's the p128 according to the post and then it looks like he has a findex pd36r and a finex t5ti i'm assuming that's the pin not familiar with finex's brand or fin not yeah i guess it's finex that sounds right, right? <laughs> nice shot here outdoors on the stone. He's got some branches out of focus to kind of give it some depth. Really cool shot. Excellent gear. Really like this. Very simple carry. Not familiar with the Reek P128. If anyone out there watching is, give me some feedback. I've been kind of eyeing their brand and maybe trying to pick one of them up to just experience it. But I'm not really sure which one to get. And I know that they have some stainless steel liner locks. And I think they have some titanium liner locks, which is probably more what I'd be looking at. Because if there's a potential I'd want to keep it, I'd like to get the little bit more premium of the brand. And I really have liked the damn designs titanium, the budget titanium, and the Tucson. So I probably would want to check that out. But this is a really cool shot. Always interesting to see what other people are into and what they're carrying. And again, I do discover a lot of other brands this way as well. So if you like it, give him a follow out on Instagram. My last one for this week is going to be Carrie underscore everyday underscore. Got her Benchmade bug out. She has her i3 TOS and brass. That looks like a short refine, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm trying to, trying to see if she posted anywhere what pin that is. But again, not 100% sure which one that is. And then she's got some pocket trash there. Matching up the, the gear with the wardrobe is a bonus. Got the shoes and pants that kind of match everything that she's got going on. Just a fantastic composition. I love the gold thumb studs on the bug out. Really nice carry. Solid lineup and a really clean shot. So if you enjoy this, go ahead and give every underscore every day. I'm sorry. <laughs> give carry underscore every day underscore a follow 
over on Instagram. And that's it for this week. 10 minutes clean in and out. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. And if you did, do me a favor, leave a like, consider subscribing, and again, turn on all those notifications so that you get alerts whenever new content drops and you can decide which ones you wanna watch and which ones you don't. I appreciate all the support from everyone out there. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to check out the giveaway videos talking about what's going to be coming up at 800 and 1,000 subscribers to hit those milestones. I'm going to give some swag back to show my appreciation. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. Thanks for tuning in today with me. And until next time, peace.